she say much at all? Tell me, man. Ah. Oh, look at what he's doing. You know, the allow me. Salam, come on, salam. Salam, come on, salam. Salam, come on, salam. Shaykh Muhyiddin, Allah bless him. Muhyiddin ibn al Arabi. He and Sayyid Abu Qadr Jilani. Qadr Sallallahu Siro, Shaykh Allah. Are the two awliya that Grand Sheikh said those two are designated to help people with their all their dunya matters, especially for traveling, but for everything, especially for traveling also. If you find yourself in a difficulty traveling, the help should reach. And he said, don't say that you're after Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, trying to be, trying to be for Allah, reach him. Say, I'm trying to be away from everything I don't like. Or making it to be away from me. It's closer to the uh, truth. Closer to the truth. Allah's will covers everything. And everything is as He read. He does what he likes. <coughs> yeah, In the end, what can we do? We surrender to what Allah will. In Adina, in Allah in Islam. The religion is to surrender to Allah. Will. There is in his book Azam, in this book of Dua from Prophet Mother Ali Kari in Afghanistan, in Afghanistan, God bless him. Prophet Hussein, after saying, Anta Salam, wa Minka Salam, wa Alayka Yuru Salam, Fahiyam Rabbun Ali Salam, Fatima Jannah. He said that, Oh my Lord, make me pleased with what you ordered, decreed, willed, with the conditions you put, to the point where whatever you made to be, I wouldn't wish to put it off, and whatever you put off, I wouldn't wish to bring it closer. That was Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi said, showing us our target. Everyone can check themselves, including the speaker. Are we uh, on that way, or fighting to Allah? Most of us Angry with our Lord's will. Yeah. This life is like that. Allah puts in front of believers and unbelievers different kinds of obstacles, tests, changes from time to time as we go through our lives. But we have to overcome them, we have to face them and Overcome. Either find a way to fix it, either we surrender.
Prophet وسلم, he said to his Sahaba, you have to help everyone. It's your duty to help all people. You have to help the oppressed and the oppressor also. These people were puzzled. Sahaba were puzzled. He said, Ya Rasulullah, we understand to help the oppressed. How if we can help the oppressor? The zalim. How we help the tyrant? He said, by stopping him from oppressing. What to do? If power in our hands, they can do something. But power is not in our hands anymore, nor in the hands of Muslims generally. Step by step, step by step, the power to uh, protect goodness and to repel evil is taken, goes out, from, went out from the hands of the Muslim Ummah nation. Until the Prophet said, at the end of time, my nation is going to be so numerous, so many, like the foam on the waves of the sea. The wave comes covered with billions and billions of bubbles of foam. So much but you pick it up, no substance to it. If you jump, dump one ton of foam on someone, nothing happens. It hurts. It's nothing. One small rock hurts. One mile of foam, nothing. And it happened like that. One billion or two billion Muslims in this world, uh, no power to do anything. Evil spread, bad ideas, bad practices, bad manners, bad ways spread. As it spread through non-Muslims, spread through Muslim also. Until it's very difficult to do anything. No one can stop it. He said, if you can't stop it with your hand, Stop it with your tongue. Say this is zulm. Oppression. Millions of people are saying this is zulm. Stop. I watched demonstration in, in India today. How many was demonstrating? As far as the eye could see, they were demonstrating. Trying with their tongue. Watched in Paris, they're demonstrating, coming on the police, but they can't do anything. They're saying, shouting, they can't change it. He said, finally you're left to stop it in your heart. At least we have to pray. Oh my Lord, to stop the Zalim, don't let us to be Zalim, and don't let us to tolerate Zulm in ourselves. Asking protection. There is an ayat of Holy Quran where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he names the idols they were worshipping in pre-Islamic times. Uzza, Walad, Manad Five or six of them. Uzza. Have you not seen them? Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam 
he sent a expedition detachment of Sahabi soldiers to destroy the temple of those idols. They went, they prayed, they came back. Prophet said, you saw it? There's some statues, we took them, what we saw. No, he said, you didn't see it, go back. And he gave them something to, they saw them. They came screaming out of the, <laughs> that place. Evil, shayateen, demons. What's the ayah from Surah uh, Azza and Azza? It's in Surah. Yeah, when Adam tara anna osalna shayateena. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Adam tara anna osalna shayateena ala al kafirin tu azzum azza. Have you not seen? Allah says, did you see it? Alam tara. It means to know about it also, but it also means to see it. They say that for the moon. We start Ramadan when we see the moon, or we know the moon is moon. So it means there's a possibility to see it. Have you not seen how the shayateens are inciting unbelievers with fury to hate each other, to fight each other. Those who are not holding to the rope of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, shayateens are making a sport from them. Well, the Sheikh used to say, using their heads like a football. Two sides being played on one another by the shaitan sitting back and laughing as the two sides go to kill each other. It is happening now. Black side is hating white side, white side is hating black side. In between doesn't know which side they want to hate. <laughs> the world is boiling and burning and shaitan laughing. Allah say, Hold tight, all of you, addressing whole humanity to the rope of Allah and don't separate. So people left it, and if you leave the rope of Allah, quickly shaitan begins to use your head for a football. And it's a Chain reaction, chain reaction, like a nuclear fusion or fission. They used to, uh, I used to see a demonstration on TV. They would have uh, hundreds of mouse traps on a table, a ping pong ball on each one. Somebody throw the first one. <laughs> up to the last one. Once Shaitan starts that uh, it's it's sport, evil sport, it begins to grow. And they're worried about that virus is going to spread, it's going to spread. There's worse virus, the virus of hatred and ignorance is worse than that uh, uh, flu virus spreading among people, hatred, hatred, hatred. If you look into history, Mulana Sheikh used to tell us to read history, you can see as if someone 
was directing both sides of a war. Which side is fighting this side? It's not clear exactly how they... As if one person put both sides up to it. During the First World War, First World War, that brought down the Ottoman Empire and took power out of the hands of Islam till now. The first year of the war, they were fighting in France. British fighting German and the French fighting German. All sides was Christians. Both sides were Christian, different kinds of branches of Christianity. It was this time of year, Christmas time, the holy time for Christians. And the soldiers, the ordinary soldiers, this is our holiday. Why am I going to shoot that one English guy or English say, why I have to shoot that German guy or French say, why? And they came out of the trenches put down their guns, and they were singing Christmas songs and playing uh, football, soccer, and exchanging uh, cigarettes, whatever they have, soldiers have. Until the officers said, get back and start shooting each other, or we'll shoot you. They forced. What they had with each other, it went on for years. Millions died, and what they had with each other, nothing. One side broadcasting to its people, all oh, people, those are devils incarnate. The other side is reading their newspapers, all oh, people. The other side is devils incarnate, demons. You have to fight them. And they make cartoons of them coming to eat their babies. And till both sides is driven. Now, once again, Shaitan. Is as a, as a inciting people to hatred. And the Prophet was praying, Ya Rabbi Arina Ashia Kamahir. Let me see the situation as it really is. Let me see things as they really are. Shay, let me see things as they really are. What's going on? From where this side is taking its poison, from where this side is taking its poison, both sides is clearly poisoned. I would say you see people going as if drunk, but they're not drunk. They're drunk with something. People left trying to acquire the good characteristics that their religions teach them. Allah said we gave everyone a way and an open book. Jews have their way, Christians have their way, Muslims have their way, other ones have their way. All those ways are teaching people how to acquire the good manners and good characteristics of their prophets, of their heroes. But people they left trying to acquire those good characteristics and instead they're listening to shaitan. It pours its poison. Pouring poison into people. Allahumma salli wa sallim mubarak wa sayyidina Muhammad. Allah knows what's going to happen. Allah knows what's going to happen. The Prophet said, that one of the signs of the last times is going to be Haraj wa Maraj. Haraj wa Maraj. What's Haraj and Maraj? 
Sahaba never heard those, what, how, haraj and maraj, we don't know that word. Even the scholars don't, didn't know that word. He said it means killing. It was from Ethiopia or Abyssinia. It was a foreign word. It meant killing, wild killing to the point where the one who kills doesn't know who or why they killed. And the one who was killed doesn't know who killed them or why. If you look at history, you see what happens once critical point is reached and the killing starts, no end to it, no logic to it, no anything to it. Millions and millions. He always used to give the example of the French Revolution. He started, we want, the king is corrupt, we want to take him away. In the end they killed each other, 12, 20, 30 million. So Napoleon came and crushed them all. And then he killed the rest of them with his military captain. Marched them into Russia to die in the snow. Allahumma salli wa sallam. Baraka Sayyidina Muhammad. Therefore, although emotion is rising, Imam Sheikh used to say, don't enter there. Sheikh Hashem said, don't enter. Don't look out the window to see if they're rioting in the street. Don't stick your head up to see who's rioting. It's difficult. As and as and. Anywhere you turn, one side or the other is saying, Prophet said that also. Two sides come to fight each other, both with the same claim. saying freedom forever, the other saying freedom forever, and they're going to fight each other. May Allah save us from shaitan and shayateen. I saw something. Really, I shouldn't speak about it. I believe it. People have a Terrible power to themselves. Allah gave human beings some terrible powers. Physically, and power to, to our imaginations to bring things into existence. Allah he wishes to create something, he makes it to be. Human beings have something of that from Allah. We wish for something to be and we make it to be. And it can be something good or it can be something evil. Human beings at least, how should we say it? They feed evil with their thoughts. We, we give energy to shaitan and shayateens so our yeah. One person said I don't do anything now except meditation. Remarkable. I said, why? He said, because I'm trying to avoid the responsibility for creating evil with my thoughts. If I can make myself completely quiet, I won't make uh, bad consequences for myself and others. Karma. What do you say, karma? What goes around comes around, they say here. 
and always says, Zahra Fasid, Shibara Babahra, on account of what people did. We create, we don't use the word karma, we believe this life is enough for our person, yet we can create our own bad conditions through our deeds. And some mystic people or occult people say we do it through our thoughts also. That's why Sir is not liked. Make things be into existence, you don't know what you're doing. When I was a small boy, we used to have a Mickey Mouse. Maybe they still have him, but it was a different Mickey Mouse back then. He was much different. Mickey Mouse, he was the Marid, the apprentice of a magician, a sorcerer, in this cartoon. He would sweep up the uh, laboratory, whatever they call it, where the sorcerer is, his uh, chambers. He would clean it and put the owl back on his thing and put the crow back in his cage and put the scorpion back in it. He had to keep the place clean. And uh, the sorcerer had his robes. Mickey Mouse had a small robe like a child had a costume. It's nighttime. The sorcerer is tired. He's going to sleep. out of his chamber up the stairs and closes the door. Now Mickey Mouse is alone in the laboratory. He begins to uh, tamper with what's there. Soon, uh, so many things is going on. We set things in motion with our own Therefore, some people, they took to silence, meditation, just to stop that, to avoid making uh, bad consequences, bad karma. When you meditate 10 hours, the 11th hour, you wake up and start the process all over. But we ask our Lord to grant us Sakina, Patumanina, peace and satisfaction through our hearts to be with him. To hold the rope of Allah. It means to hold the rope of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. It means to hold the hand of your Shaykh through your heart. To be, try to be with him. Try to be with those that they're not being played with by footballs, by shaitan, by shayateen. Try to keep, keep them. Autad. Or the Quran says, Autad. We set the mountains firmly on earth. Autad, so that not shaking, so you don't shake. They keep you from shaking. Hold on to them. They don't shake with you. They're firmly fixed. <coughs> it's Quran. Mountains are called Autad, and some Aulia are given the title Autad. They don't shake like the people. Shaitan is not using them for football. Ask me to be with them. Amen. To be with them, to find them through our hearts. May Allah make us to find them and to sit with them. Publicly and privately, not to be misled and not to be, as a, as a, to be uh, goaded or tricked. They always have the picture of the shaitan on his pitchfork. Come on, move, move. Not to be pushed into something that Prophet said, don't do. Two people, it's a famous hadith, two people come to kill each other. One person kills the other one. Both of them went to Jahannam. Why? Understand the one who murdered the other one. Why the other one? Because he could, would have killed that one if he had the chance when he lost the fight. The other one got the reverse. Both had the intention to kill the other one. Allah knows. May 
now ascend to the heavenly personalities to awaken the hearts of people and not to fall into a fire. It's not going to be the flood of Noah. This time is going to be a fire flood. Now save us and our loved people, our families, and whoever can be saved. Not to fall into that. Be her and Habib, be her and Fati. Amen. 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 Akuti Adab, you will call me Adina Zaramu. Alhamdulillah, you will be the Adami. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna 